Splat Forge is a new Blender add-on which brings an innovative paint-based mesh scattering workflow into Blender. In a nutshell, it allows you to import and work with Gaussian splats, essentially tiny colored disks or points, to represent complex 3D surfaces in Blender. So instead of insisting for geometry, this add-on draws millions of these splats in real time, so you can visualize, animate, and even render massive point-based scenes without your computer breaking a sweat. Once installed, Splat Forge adds its own tab in Blender's M panel, and the interface is surprisingly clean and straightforward. My first impression is that it looked simple. There is basically a big friendly load Gaussian Splat button and a few settings, so you are not drowning in many options. One of the add-on's biggest selling points is performance, of course. The viewport remains fluid, even with millions of points making up a scene. Thanks to the add-on's GPU-based rendering approach, Splat Force doesn't create casual mesh instances, I mean for each point, which would be insanely slow. Instead, it uses OpenGL shaders under the hood, meaning you get the authentic look and incredible speed of this point cloud technique right in the viewport. The add-on can handle point counts that would make traditional particle systems or geometry nodes cry. The developer mentions roughly 16 million points per scene in the current safe limit because things might just crash, which is far beyond what most regular scatters attempt. In practice, I tried loading a dense environment scan and aside from the short loading time, navigation was smooth and responsive. Once loaded, you can scrub through animations or move the camera in real time. The add-on updates the splats on the fly so they always look correct from different angles. And I did notice that if you push to the extremes, I mean tens of millions of splats, you might get some stuttering or slow updates. The add-on provides an update rate slider to trade off the accuracy for speed if needed. Stability-wise, I didn't encounter crashes during normal use, and any known limitations are openly documented by the developer. Integration with Blender's rendering pipeline is where things get a bit tricky, but it is manageable. Since these plots aren't standard mesh geometry, you can't just hit F12 and have them show up automatically in the final render, because Blender's render engine doesn't natively see them, due to Python API limits. Splat Forge works around this with a clever solution. It offers a sound rendering function that can composite the splats over your regular render. Essentially, if your scene is only splats, you can render directly from the add-ons panel. If you have a mix of splats and regular objects, you can render the normal scene first, then use the add-on's external depth and color options to have the add-on render the splats and blend them into the final image. It sounds a bit complicated, but in practice, the add-on guides you through the process, and it can work pretty painlessly. I think Splat Forge opens some exciting possibilities, especially for Blender artists. The most obvious use case is for environments and background design. So if you have a photogrammetry scan, or location, or nerve-generated point cloud of a scene, you can bring it into Blender via this add-on, and use it as an intricate background that looks almost as detailed as the real thing. Beyond environments, technical artists can use this add-on for VFX and creative effects. Since the splat objects can be animated, you can move them, duplicate them, or even animate their visibility. One could imagine cool effects, like dissolving the mesh into particles, or transition in scenes by swapping in a splat render. The add-on supports three distinct visualization modes. The standard mode shows the splat shaded as they were captured, like the full color detail and so on. And there is a depth mode, which renders the splats as a simple depth fog, meaning everything appears as a grayscale based on the distance. And surface mode that displays each point as a flat ellipse oriented on the surface. These modes aren't just debugging tools, they can be used creatively. After spending some quality time with this add-on, I came away impressed and excited about what it can unlock. As you can see, the add-on is somewhat niche by nature, so not everyone in the Blender community is gonna need this, unless you're gonna do photogrammetry or need millions of points in your scene. But for those who do, I think this is a great option. So if you are interested, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.